Hello, my name is Daniel, and I'm going to start off where I left on the previous video. So I said that I would break this up into reusable chunks of code. So that's what I'm going to do. So first off, I'm going to create a class just for the panel. So it's going to go something like this. Class, um, let's uh, ultra panel. That's what we'll name it, ultra panel. And then it's going to inherit from the panel, obviously. Documentation is fine. It's going to ex it's going to accept args and key arguments. Um, args, key args, exactly. Mm, we don't need that anymore. Um, there you go. So now we don't need the dot panel because it's referring to itself, and also right here, just itself would be fine. So. Yep, so that should work. Now, um, let's see. That's fine. So now to use it, I have to call it. So how I call it is basically just the same. Uh, I can either save it to, ah, let me just save it to a variable. Panel equals ultra panel, pass in self. That's fine. And now, uh, if I run it, it should be exactly the same as the last one. I didn't make any errors, and bam, I didn't. And like that, it's exactly the same. Now, if I wanted to use it in a different frame, this exact same panel in a different frame. Uh, for example, let me create um, not so oh, not so cool frame. Whatever, wx dot frame. Yeah, 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 my bad. Um, args and quarks. I don't know why they don't just default it to that. Okay, um, let's see. Um, self dot uh, size, I'm guessing? No. Wait, ah, I'll default to a different size, whatever. I'll just let the constructor handle it. So first off, I'm going to call this one too, ultra panel right here. So I'm going to just call panel equals ultra panel and pass in self. Bam, oops, just like that. And this needs two spaces and all right, um, let's see. And instead of calling this one, um, oops, what I do? I'm going to call the not so cool frame and I'm going to pass in none and the title is uh, whatever and the size is uh, what should be the size I'm going to just name it 400 by 400 there square and now if you see it it should I should still be able to see the see the frame with the reuse panel oops Oh, here we go. I forgot that. There you go. That makes life a whole lot easier. Now, what? It didn't run? Huh. What's going on? Yes. Okay, let's see. Everything's fine. If I run it. What? What's going on? Oh, silly me. I know what's going. I know what's going on. Um, I'm not. I need to do that show. There you go. There, look at that. Bam. That, well, that was dumb. There you go. So that's how you make a reusable panel. Um, let's see. So yeah, so that's uh, you should create your classes. You know that way it can be reused instead of you know just copying over, copying and pasting files every now and then. So yeah, so that's one way to reuse. So now I'm just gonna delete it because uh, that's not the one I actually want to work with. <sighs> so now, okay, so now I have that one back. Yep, back to normal. And now I'm just going to delete this class. Okay. So, yeah, that is it. 
uh, probably in the next one I'll go more in detail about uh, buttons and how to uh, handle events like for example what buttons should do when they're pressed and things like that so yeah